Hello, welcome if you are new to my channel and welcome back if you have been here before. Today we are talking all things multiple realities, parallel realities, quantum jumping. How cool does that sound? That's what we're talking about today. Stick around. Before we get into this awesomely fascinating topic, my name's Hedley Dorenzi. I'm a qualified life coach. I'm also an author and if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm also super passionate about the amazing teachings of the Law of Assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change any part of your life, you have to start by changing the story. And if you want to create the most amazing life, then it helps to know how to tell the most amazing stories. And that is where these teachings can really help. And that is why I am here. I want to help you to tell much better stories so that you can experience a much better reality because that's why we're here. If you would like support with this, I am available for coaching. You'll find those details at my website, youaretheone.com.au or in the box below this video. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. That's available for download at my website. Also, you can find those details below and anything else you'll find it below as well. So let's just get straight into this. Okay. So recently I put a call out on my community page as to what questions you have in relation to the law of assumption. And one of the questions was around multiple realities, parallel realities. And also I think there was somebody asked me a question around quantum jumping a while ago and I said I'd make a video on it and then forgot, sorry about that. Uh, so this is that video. Today we are talking about multiple parallel realities, jumping from between the two, sounds super fun, we can all do it, we're all doing it anyway. So that is what we are talking about. But let's go back to basic. Consciousness is the one and only reality. Reality is the reflection of consciousness. And that's a really important point to move into what we are talking about today, which is parallel realities and then quantum jumping. Whether you know it or not, you are actually quantum jumping all the time and you are moving between realities and parallel realities all the time. And I'm going to explain a bit more about how you're doing that and how to do it more consciously. Because obviously that's the whole game here is becoming more conscious of our power rather than wielding it willy nilly all over the shop as most of us have done in the past. Certainly I have and actually using it a lot more consciously so that we get more of what we want and less of what we don't want. There's no right or wrong, there's no good or bad, it's just consciousness and we're just having a play, seeing how we go, <laughs> experimenting with our power in physical form. So you are the gods of your reality, meaning you are the cause of your reality and how you cause your reality is based on what you are doing in your imagination most of the time. So where you're putting your thoughts and where you're holding those assumptions and where you're directing your focus and the stories that you're telling, all of that is what directs your consciousness towards what it is that you want or don't want in consciousness. And whatever you're doing dominantly or whatever you're focusing on dominantly is what will get reflected back in your reality. And so many of us, and you know, for most of us, we've all come from a place of not realizing that this is what's happening. And so we've been focusing on the things that we don't want. And of course we get more of the same or we're letting reality guide our imagination and consciousness. And then we're getting more of the same when we're talking about consciousness and when we're in consciousness, there's no time. So all possibilities exist in the here and now, meaning there's no past, there's no future. The past and future are just concepts of consciousness, meaning they're just concepts in your imagination. As Neville says, all creation is finished. What does he mean by that? It means that all outcomes to all possible situations and circumstances exist now, meaning that there is an ocean of infinite possibilities of infinite outcomes to infinite situations that we can possibly conjure up in our imagination. All of them exist in the here and now and all we're doing, we're not actually creating anything with manifesting. What we're doing is we're collapsing our attention onto the possibility that we want to have. Now, when you go into your imagination, you can imagine a whole range of possibilities, a whole range of experiences from favorable to unfavorable to really awesome to really shitty. 
There's a whole range that you can choose from. And depending on your self-concept, which is governed, like kind of built from your upbringing, will direct you to the outcomes to focus your attention on, which will get pushed out and reflected back in your reality. In your imagination, you have an infinite number of realities to choose from. Remembering that those realities only exist in your consciousness first until they get solidified and they get pushed out and, and reflected back in your 3D experience. So multiple realities simply means that there's a multiple outcomes to whatever you're experiencing in your your reality so you could experience a reality where you're having a wonderful relationship with your specific person you could imagine a reality where you're having a shitty experience with your specific person and within that there's all shades of uh, possibilities as well now with a quantum jumping when I say that you're that we're all constantly jumping because what we're doing in imagination is we can jump from one possibility to another possibility in an instant. When you imagine one reality and then you shift to a new reality, you've essentially just jumped. Now, what most of us do is we're constantly jumping and toing and froing between different realities and we're not actually holding on to any one of them long enough for it to become dominant and solidified. Often what we do is we stick with the familiar story that has been running for so long and because it's familiar, we just fall back into it like it's our default. But that doesn't mean that's the only version, that that's the only reality available to us. There are an infinite number of realities and we are actually jumping between them on a constant basis throughout the day. You can, you can experience multiple realities based on where you direct your consciousness to whatever reality you want to experience. But to really solidify a reality means to actually stick with one long enough for it to solidify and get pushed out and hardened into physical fact, into an, an event or external occurrence that we then experience with our five senses. I'm gonna give you a, um, an example, and I always come back to my home example because that's my most recent one, and that's an experience of where I shifted realities very clearly. I was on a car, I was living a current home story. I had a home story, and that was the story, that was the reality that I was living. But I knew I wanted to experience a different reality when it came to my home. So I went into my imagination and I put myself in a new reality. Now, the difference with this one is I stayed with that new reality for over a month. I think it was about 40 days that I slept in my new home. So I essentially ignored my current reality, slept in my new reality, and then my reality was starting to show up with certain situations and, and events or action steps that I then had to take in this physical dimension that then moved me on a physical level into the new reality. The really interesting experience happened when I arrived in my home, in this my new home that I had been envisioning. There was a moment where I arrived here and I had this like, whoa, like it was a sort of like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it was just like I'd been like, in a tunnel and I popped out the tunnel and I kind of ended in and I was like I had this moment where I just was in this house just going oh my god like oh my god oh my god like I'm here like it's here it's real like the walls are real and the door is real and the carpet's real and I can feel it under my feet and it was just this kind of wild experience where a reality that I had been focusing on in my imagination holding long enough for it to get solidified solidified and then I got to experience it with my five senses. Now, that was a quantum jump. I jumped to another reality, but then rather than jumping back to the familiar one, I stayed with the, the one that I wanted to be on. So I collapsed my attention onto the new reality that I want to experience and just held it long enough for it to solidify. So that's the game. All possibilities exist in the here and now. All creation is finished. We're not actually creating anything. We're just choosing from an infinite number of realities based on what we want to experience. Now, most of us just choose what's familiar. We think that that's it. And it's based on old stories and old states of consciousness. But you can choose a new reality right now by simply going into your imagination and asking what is it that you want and then imagining, asking yourself, if I had this experience, what would it look like? And then going in your imagination and playing out the scene. And, this, and then before you know it, you're in that reality. You're living out that reality. Yes, it's in your imagination, but we're slowly learning. Imagination is what's real. Reality is the reflection of what we're doing in imagination. So pick a reality that you want to experience. Color it in. Know that it's all, like, if you can see it in your imagination, that means it's real. And that's what we're having to develop, that muscle of believing that, yes, imagination is what's real. What you're doing in your imagination is what's real. What's showing up in your physical reality is 
your work expressed? Like is the, the result of what you're doing in imagination? So what you experience in your physical reality is the result of what you're doing in your imagination. Keeping in mind that we're jumping from realities all the time. What we're learning to do with these teachings is to land on the reality that we want to experience in imagination and then staying on it. Like staying on in that new reality, coloring it in with our senses, getting familiar with it so that reality becomes more familiar than the old one. And because it's super easy to go back to the familiar, what we need to do is learn, become familiar with the one that we want to experience. And we have to do all of that in imagination, especially if it's something you've never experienced before. You have to color it in with your spiritual senses until you've convinced yourself that that is what's real. You're jumping from reality to reality all the time. Like you can have a thought and then you're over there and then you're over there and then you're over there. They are all possibilities. They are all possible realities. And if you want to experience something, what you want to do is land on a reality that you want to experience and then stay there. <laughs> Just hang out there, spend time there, become familiar with that reality, get to know the characters as they show up in this beautiful new reality, and then just, just hang out there long enough and it will get solidified. But you are jumping, we're all jumping reality to reality all the time based on our thoughts and imaginings that we're, con you know, we're not even aware of half the things that we're doing most of the day. Uh, we're jumping from one state to the next state to the next state. We're imagining like, oh, this person said something or, you know, why did they say that or why did they do that? And then we'll make up a story. And before you know it, you're in a reality. You're, you're collapsing your attention onto a reality that isn't favorable, that isn't one you want to experience, but then you're hanging out there and you're spending time there. And if you keep doing that, that's what's going to solidify into your physical experience. Often though, the reason that it doesn't is because so many of us don't hang out in a particular reality long enough for it to catch up. And we just keep falling back into those old familiar ways, old familiar states, old familiar like scenes and scenarios that we just keep playing out based on what our self-concept is informing. Like your self-concept will inform the reality that you land on. That's why self-concept is super, super, super important because as you up-level your self-concept, you'll up-level your ability to land on a reality that you want to experience and then hang out there long enough for it to get solidified. Because if your self-concept is really weak and you go to a, you land on a really awesome reality, your self-concept will be like, no, nah, I'm not worthy and deserving of this. And then you'll fall back into the old one. And then what do you know? You've got more of the same. All possibilities exist. There's no right or wrong. You can literally have whatever you want. You just have to land on it, stay there long enough for it to solidify. It's super, super simple. You're doing it all the time anyway. So just make sure you're, you're landing on the ones that you want. You're hanging out in the realities that you want to experience and you're spending more time there in your imagination and you're getting familiar with it using your spiritual senses because that is the key. Remember, you are the creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision and my prayer for you. If you would like support with jumping realities into a new one, you will find me at youotherone.com.au. That's pretty much it from me. Hope you enjoy the video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.